in the previous episode, Perseverance was investigating a rock dubbed Rochette, culminating in the first successful core sample. Now it has added another hole, completing an emoji-like petroglyph. But why? Tango Delta. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars. Humans have long used rocks to record artistic and spiritual expression, historic events, knowledge of the natural world, and for other purposes. Now we have begun to record on Mars rocks our quest for knowledge using rovers as proxies. The Spirit and Opportunity rovers were the first to do so, using their rock abrasion tool, the RAT, to grind circles to expose fresh rock surfaces. The Curiosity rover was the first to drill holes in rocks to a depth of about 6 centimeters, or 2.5 inches, in order to retrieve powder for onboard instruments. Last month, Perseverance used its drill to first abrade a 50 millimeter spot and then core into a rock. That rock was so weakened by water alteration that it crumbled during the coring attempt. Last week, Perseverance tried again on a stronger rock, obtaining the first core sample. As presented in the previous episode, there was some concern that the vibrating action intended to settle the core in the sample tube inside the drill bit may have instead ejected it, but morning sunlight shining into the bit revealed the rock core still inside. After that, the sample tube was brought inside the rover to measure the core volume and package it for storage. The sample handling assembly, or SHA, is a second robotic arm that moves the sample to different stations. You may have seen pictures of the belly pan on the ground below the rover early in the mission. The rover was designed this way to open the work volume for the SHA to move up and down. It also provides views of various internal components using a mirror mounted on the back wall that the arm-mounted Watson camera can see. These images verify the opening of the little door that allows sample tubes to be passed in. Here's how that looks in the NASA animation. There's a complex sequence of steps that happens on board, including getting a look at the core after it's pressed down with the volume probe. The cache cam is a fixed focus camera that looks down the tube using LED lights. The SHA raises the sample tube in one centimeter increments with cache cam taking an image at each step. Here's what that looks like with the sample from Rochette. In the first image, only the top of the tube is in focus. The asymmetric shape is part of the system that breaks the core off the bottom of the hole. The SHA is the dark shape reaching in from the upper left, and the partial ring of model tan colors is the out-of-focus dirt under the rover. Here's the image sequence showing the core coming into focus, then going out of focus. The in-focus location is four steps down, so about four centimeters below the top of the tube. The core looks the same as it did right after coming out of the hole, so it was not damaged during subsequent steps. This shows that Rochette was a good choice for coring. And here's what that might look like when returned to Earth. The next steps include placing a cap known as a hermetic seal on the end of the tube, getting an image of that from cache cam, then activating the hermetic seal at the sealing station where it is pressed into the tube using up to 20 kilonewtons, or about 5,000 pounds, of force. Then it's back to cache cam to get a look. Here's the before and after views of seal activation. After all of that, the sample is finally ready to be delivered to the storage area. Okay, so why was a second core sample taken from Rochette? Two reasons. This rock shows clear evidence for interaction with water, including sulfate salts, so it's a scientifically compelling target. Having two samples means that one can be stored on the rover, allowing for the possibility of delivering stored samples to a future return rocket. The other sample can be dropped off in a cache of samples for a possible future fetch rover, which would pick them up and deliver them to the return rocket. So the new face on Mars is about options. 